Well, in the aftermath of that tornado that ripped through Hot Springs around 1245 this morning, several neighborhoods are really shut off to the outside world, all thanks to downed power lines and trees that are littering the roadway. Channel 7's Ashley Lunningham is live in one of those neighborhoods this evening with more on the damage it sustained. Ashley. Yeah, Chris Beth, the crews behind me, ever since we've been here this morning, they've been working, uh, and now into the evening, they're still working behind me to get the roadways on Peninsula Drive clear uh, for residents checking for damage and, uh, and checking with residents to see if they're okay. And um, right now, when we first got here, it was just walkable, but uh, now it's, it's barely drivable, so they're making a little bit of, of uh, a dent in that damage that was from early this morning. And I come out the back door and it sounded like a train coming and the wind was blowing and I went right back into the house. A path of trees uprooted, cut in half, littered the streets and lay on or in homes on Peninsula Drive. Boats ripped from their anchors and power lines a mangled mess. The Lewis family directly in the path. There was like some discussion whether or not it was weakening and we were debating whether or not to go back upstairs, but we decided to stick it out. Taking a moment to assess the destruction to their home and their neighborhood. Lauren Lewis noticing her window blown out where she had been sleeping moments before. So my window uh, came out and I'm in, yeah, I was upstairs. Over and so if I had been in my room, I might've gotten sucked out the window, which her, is crazy. Her blankets and pillows and everything wound up in my neighbor's yard out of her room. So it just sucked everything out of her room. So we're so thankful she was downstairs. James Vermillion says walking out to the scene in his backyard, a line of trees and power lines down his fence, completely uprooted. And when I got up, then I investigated and looked and I thought, well, this is a disaster. Despite the destruction, neighbors immediately checking on neighbors and getting to work cleaning up. The Lewis family grateful that everyone is okay. We were out till probably 3, 30, 4 a.m. just talking and looking and just being thankful that, you know, we're all alive and, and safe. I think the biggest thing is that everybody's okay. And I'm really, really grateful for that. And that the neighborhood has kind of come together a little bit. Meeting some people that I've never met before and it's just great community. Now, crews will still be out here continuing to um, clean up the aftermath of these storms. And neighbors have been helping neighbors as they start that recovery process. In Hot Springs, on your side, I'm Ashley Lunningham. All right, Ashley, showing the true spirit of Arkansas today. Thanks a lot.